Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 6 of Sonic Adventure in Sonic's playthrough. We are now headed towards... Uh, wherever the hell I am. Hello Robo-Sonic. Hello Metal-Sonic. Alrighty, let's see here. You have to solve the puzzle. Let's see if I can figure it out. Yep, that wasn't so bad. Come on. There we go. Final egg! Stage 10. I didn't realize Sonic had, Sonic had 10 stages. Alright. Well, that was nice of them. Especially because I'd screw that up. Now let's see, a stage music? I'm not... <coughs> excuse me. I'm not exactly, uh... This... it's a good song. I don't know if it necessarily fits for the stage. But, what do I know? Still a bitchin' tune. Uh, in terms of level design... Well, I would say if I were to compare it to Radical Highway, it's not the best designed track, but I definitely like it. Ah, crap. Although I don't like the fact that if I fall all the way down, I'm dead. Why am I dead? I shouldn't be dead, in my opinion. I mean, there's other shit down there. Yeah, I learned my lesson from last time. I'm not going for that life. It's not worth it. Not to get that life. Now the only fathomable reason why I can't jump downward is because they don't want me skipping half of the section. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Sonic. Which I I guess I will give it, you know, what it's worth for, you know, protecting its I'm not even sure what the right word is. It's protecting what's it. If that made any sense. This section, though, has the better soundtrack in my mind. What can I say? A good guitar solo is a good guitar solo. Uh, platforming wise, it's more platformy but less fast. I'm more of a sucker for fast. The platforming is kind of a uh, second fiddle in my mind, uh, so to speak. But you can have good platforming and have it be fast. Sonic Adventure 2 does that actually relatively well. Uh, now they realize I'm here? Hello, shits. 
Excuse me while I figure out where I'm supposed to go. Don't worry, I'll have it figured out in a moment. There's a ladder. There we go. Oh! Almost got caught by that explosion. They kind of reused the fan sections a bit from... Well, I remember them mostly from Sonic 2. But I know Sonic and Knuckles had it. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, however you want to refer to that game. I never actually owned Sonic 3 until uh, a couple months ago. I've only had Sonic and Knuckles. I never had Sonic and 3 to plug into it to make the complete Sonic 3 at Knuckles. Uh, those speed shoes are a lie. Alright, where does this take me? The fan sections are not nearly as fluid in my mind in 3D as they were in 2D. Whoa. Is this the right way? I don't think this is the right way. But I don't know what the right way is. Where the hell am I going? That's where I came from. Is this where I'm going? Oh, that is where I'm going. Why didn't it open up before? No. I wasn't supposed to go that way? I don't want to go this way. There are bad guys this way. Running oh crap. No. Totally worth it. If I'm gonna be stuck using the light speed dash, I am going to kill all the bad guys first. Okay. So aside from a couple of unnecessary deaths. We've made it to the center of the base. Ugh. Shit. And lo and behold, we've got one of our final cutscenes. Hopefully. Hello, Egg Viper. with our wonderfully rendered Eggman. I'm not even totally convinced he's in 3D. Ah, well, Sonic's one of the longest uh, playthroughs. Well, the one of the longest stories for Sonic Adventure. Because I think... Knuckles only gets like five or six actual stages. Tails, I think, only gets like maybe seven. Uh, let's see, Amy. Amy's a low number. I think Big only gets four. Which is another reason why I want to do his. Um, oh, fuck you. I hate the knockback. You shouldn't ever get hit by that. I'm kind of ashamed of myself for getting hit by that. Strategy. Go quickly. He can't hit you if you're going quickly. Second strategy is hit Eggman. If that wasn't obvious enough.
Okay. Next sequence. He's shooting a laser, which more or less goes after you, regardless of where he's looking. Then the third part. Hit the glowy bits. And boost to win. Uh, this hit is much like its predecessor. Eggman does his little uh, dolphin laser attack, for lack of a better word. Then he does that. Then he does his little explosion laser. Must be a fan of Team Laser Explosion. Uh, this hit is similar-ish to the last, I guess. Except I think something different does happen. Yep, this is... That's the point where he decides to start shooting. Down the platform. Same thing. Boost to win. And what is the homing attack other than a just random ass mid-air boost? More getting a load of this. Ah, crap. I fucked it up. Although usually when I fuck up that like that, it's usually to my death. If you can jump on the thing... I mean, really, if you can do that, there's no reason that you should be concerned about it. Okay, so for whatever reason, with his uh, two hits to go, he decides to completely destroy the other platform, and then the end of this platform. It's no use. Give up. Now with his final hit, he destroys the platform on the other side. This does become a little bit more challenging on a timing perspective. But not by much. Now. That which happens next. Yeah, if we didn't get that free fucking warning, that might have been threatening. Alas, it's not threatening. Hey, uh... Well, ladies and gentlemen, I attest to you that Sonic's portion of the story has been completed. Somehow we ended up out here. Eggman is on fire. I almost made a pun, and I chose not to. Tails is alive! Yeah! Tails is alive! Hooray! Yeah, at this point, this is just kind of a closing sequence. And, uh, well... That's basically it. I mean... Sonic and Tails are saying something. And then you realize that Sonic's teeth are horribly rendered. Uh, Sonic commits suicide. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna make you sit through all these credits, but just keep in mind that the next playthrough is going to be a different character. And you will be seeing... Big the Cat. Yeah, I am gonna do these out of order because I'd rather have Tails a little later. Because I like Tails. He can sequence break like... Or he can break the levels he's in pretty easily. Besides, most of his uh, levels are beat Sonic to the finish. Okay. Knuckles is his standard go find the missing pieces of the Master Emerald. Those are something. Amy's is a reach the end. Fucking hate Amy's. Biggs is Catch Froggy. And E Gamma 102 is 
I think it's a reach the end within a time limit that is increased by the amount of kills you get. Bit weird, but eh, what are you going to do? Alright, I'm not going to leave you to the rest of these credits. I will see you next time for part 7, the first big The Cat iteration. Did you like what you saw? Please like and subscribe down below. And let us know in the comments what else we can do for you. Also, please see our description for our Facebook and our Twitter page. And as always, thank you for watching.